Do we want to make this a video? Maybe, perhaps. But first, hold on. Some lip gloss. Let me put some lip gloss on these lips. All better. So, hey girl, hey. So in this video, I want to talk about, I don't so much have a plan for this video. However, that kind of leads me into the subject that I wanted to talk about in this video, the importance of having a plan for your life. And sometimes that plan for your life might not be a plan, but just make sure that it's yours. Because the thing is, or have a vision, not so much a plan. I don't like the word plan. I don't like the word goals, really. I like the, the word vision. I have a vision for my life because I have a vision for my life. And so that's what I want to talk about in this video. So hopefully I'll make this really quick. But we know how we know how that goes for me sometimes. But having a vision for your life. What I see a lot of times, and even in my own life, if you don't have a vision for your life, it leaves you in the dark. And what will eventually happen is people will, what's the word I'm looking for? And roll you into their vision for their life. And you never want to be in a position where you're uh, a character in someone else's life. You always want to be the star. You always want to be the star of your movie and never a, what is it? A supporting role in someone else's movie. And if you don't have a vision for your life, you are the supporting character in someone else's movie. So as I sit in this, <laughs> this movie chair. Um, but yes, and this is what I see a lot. Like oftentimes, like I, I'm in a, you know, I meet a lot of people and you know, you talk about like, what's your vision for your life and things like that. And people are like, Oh, I don't really have a vision. <laughs> I don't have a vision, but you realize like, how can you, because here's the thing, and this is where I got, and this is where I understood this so well. I'm kind of in a, a, a state of transition currently, and I was trying to be more of my feminine energy and just going with the flow of life and going with the flow, which is a great thing to an extent. But you also have to still hold to the vision. And if you are just going with the flow, then you'll be pulled in so many different directions. And so I was in this, this flow, right? I'm in this state of, state of transition in this flow and everybody and a mom and cousin had a plan and vision for me. And, you know, I was going with the flow. I was just like, well, I'm just in state of transition. I'll just, you know, but then I realized one day I just woke up and I was like, Ain't none of this is what I want. None of it. None of it was what I wanted for my life. And I'm just going with the flow. I'm being a supporting character in someone else's movie, their plan and their movie. And it's not at all that anything that makes me happy or makes me feel good or, you know, is part of what I know to be my vision because I've always had a vision, but I was kind of like, you know, Jesus take the wheel type of thing and like leaning back, but I was leaning back way too far. And so I realized, oh my gosh, I am being a support, supporting character in people's movies and I'm not the star. And there's nothing wrong with wanting to be the star. You better want to be the star. <laughs> like, then what are you, what are you doing? If you don't want to be the star, then what are you doing? You're playing small, you're being mediocre. And you only got one shot at this thing called life. You might as well maximize it and become a star. And so anytime that you don't have something that you are, a vision that you're looking towards, something that you're working towards, you 
are at that point a supporting character in someone else's movie. You are. And if that's what you want for your life, no judgment, but also understand that when things are not going in your favor, then there is some, you know, responsibility and accountability that you need to take in that, you know? And so if, if I were to just go with the flow of things and allow myself to be a supporting character in other people's movies, and I wasn't essentially happy or it was not what I wanted for my life, and I'm not building what I want for my life, I'm not running towards that vision and bliss and happiness and feeling good and all this kind of stuff, the only person I can blame is myself. And so if anything is not in alignment with my vision, it ain't got no no room in my life. It, it doesn't have any room in my life if it's not in alignment with my vision. And so even so, like you might be in a, in a position or a state of being where you're like, I don't know where to go. So you just, well, maybe other people have the right, um, maybe other people know better than I do. And you're just going with the, going with what they're saying and stuff and it's not in alignment with your vision <sighs> it ain't going it's not gonna work out for you boo it's not gonna work out for you because even you know you just gotta one of like one of the things that oprah said one time and oh you know oprah i love me some oprah but one of the things that she said that i found was so profound is you know it is important to have the vision, but you don't need to know every single step to get there. You just need to ask, what is the next right step for me from this present moment where I'm at right now? What is the one <laughs> next, just what is the next step from this moment? Just be in the present now and say, what is the next step for me? right now not what's the next 10 or 20 steps ahead but what is the one step that i need to make from this moment right here that's an alignment with that vision the one step and just focus on the one step and so sometimes you know like we get confused and we're not sure which way to go but we don't need to know the next 10 steps and so and if you do that too, it will deter you from being pulled in all of these different directions where people are trying to um, enroll you in their plan and get you to subscribe to their vision and be part of their movie. Because that is not where you want to be. You always want to be the star. Why not be the star of your own movie? You know, and if you ever find that you don't want to be the star of your own movie you need to dig a little deeper on why that is why do you feel you are unworthy to be the star because that's a worthiness issue it's a worthiness issue where you feel that you don't deserve to be the star of your own movie it's not anyone else's movie your movie so you know you get it like you deserve to be the star of your movie it's your movie so why not take the chance and come back to the present moment don't be pulled into other people's movies I don't need to see the next 10 steps I have an overall vision for my life I've already seen the end so I don't need to know the next 10 steps I just need to know the next one from here because I know and I have faith that eventually I'm gonna get the thing I'm going to get the thing. The thing is my vision. <laughs> okay. I say this all, I, I talk like that, like the thing. I always refer to it, to my vision as the thing or my incredible life, but I'm going to get it. Trust and believe if you know anything about me, I'm going to get the thing. <laughs> so I wanted to talk about that. I just wanted to share that because I think it's important. Don't, as I was almost there, I was like, I just had a come to Jesus moment. I was like, wow, I am being pulled into people's own agendas for me and not taking control 
and holding to my vision for myself. And I need to do that. You know, I need to do that for my life because I deserve and I am worthy of being the star of my own movie. So yeah, we, I'm in a state of transition that's super exciting because it's in alignment and um, you know, I just talk, I just actually got off the phone and talked with a friend and I see my next step. I see my next step and I'm excited about that step too. So anyways, that is all for this video. I hope you guys received what I was trying to put down because <laughs> I, I really did not have any plans on doing this uh, video. Um, but I did want to share that because it is running parallel obviously to my own life and I wanted to share that. So anyways, that's all for this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. I do videos on spirituality, life, relationship, um, parallel. I like to talk about esoteric things like parallel realities and new beginnings because, um, that's something that I really want to talk about too on more on this channel is new beginnings and that's something that I feel like the collective is going through like these this like new beginning phase of people's lives and things like that so I kind of want to um, talk more about that as well but anyways if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't already I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I will check you guys in the next video peace